Okay, this is an example of uh, one of the uh, third-party apps here. It's the ArcGIS app by ESRI. And what you can do is you can go to the, either the Play Store or the App Store for the Android and iOS devices uh, and search ArcGIS, and you should be able to find this app to download. Um, I'm going to start off by clicking on the app here. Once that app's downloaded, again, you can search any kind of content you want. This is not specific to Game & Fish, but um, any type of information you want to search for, it, it'll bring it up into a little map for you. So our stuff here that we want to, that we've published, you're able to search, hit the search key at the top right-hand corner, and our kind of uh, tags or keywords to search for are NDGF. So type in NDGF. Hit your search button. Now it's going to go look for any content that we've published. And as you can see, we have plots guide, the plots guide, lake contours, all sorts of fisheries information, species range maps, and so on. Uh, with each device, there's some different things here you can do. You can, once you click, let's for example, say we click on the plots guide, um, you can mark it as a favorite so that these show up every time you open up this application instead of searching for it every time, or just open up the map itself. And in some cases, you might want to adjust your phone so that you can see it in maybe a landscape perspective. So this is a service, our Plots Guide service. And um, again, similar to most devices, you can zoom into the features. There are also uh, other little tools on here for measuring. Um, you can click on the location services if you have them enabled on your phone. That'll zoom right to where your location's at for your GPS enabled services there. Um, there are some additional, I'm going to spin it back here to the portrait view here. Oh, I just closed it. Open that back up. Zoom in again here. There's other information that we can turn on on some of these map applications. If I click on the details here, I can go into the map contents. And you can see the current base map right now is a topographic base map. If I wanted to change that to something else, uh, for example, streets, roads, terrain, um, imagery, Im you know, you have some options here that you can use. So I'm going to click imagery in this case. And that turns on the aerial photography. And you can see the plots guide over the plots features and the other public lands over the aerial photography. When you zoom into some of these features, they'll, they will turn transparent uh, or uh, translucent so you can kind of see through the feature itself and the, uh, and the photograph. Kind of see a light green outline in that case for that WPA. Here's an example of the plot. So yeah, just remember you can go into the, the map contents and change some settings there. Look at the legend and the features and what those are um, and other search information. Back out, again, we have a lot of published content out there. A lot of this is available through the desktop, but it's uh, also available through this ArcGIS app for you to view.